morning. Well, the bonfire last night was a big success. The tripod worked great, and thank you guys for reminding me what they call it when you got the two cross posts and a top part. I forgot it was called a spit. I knew there was a name for it. Couldn't think of what it was. But anyway, most of this burned up pretty well, really. I got enough I can push together and we can have a smaller fire out here. But uh, things like that, that net wire was around some of the posts. Oops, there's my phone. So anyway, stuff like some of that net wire, that was around the, the fence posts and things. I'll have to pick that out of there and of course these beer cans and things that didn't melt. Uh, a lot of this had nails in it. Uh, we run rodeo horses out here, so can't have that. And, uh, there is a couple of big piles of dirt that... I can push around and bury it, uh, so that's what I'll end up doing, hauling some dirt over and cover it up. But for today, Jeff brought over his track side by side, and we're going looking for wolves, or wolf tracks. He can get around a lot further in the woods and stuff in the hills than I can with just my tires. These things are really good traction, but they don't stay on top as well as I thought they would. The snow is really wet. It's starting to kind of overheat a little bit. Okay, Lily. Ready? Ready? Go get it. <laughs> good girl. <laughs> yeah, nobody's been up here in quite a spell. I don't know when it snowed last, but it's, it's pretty deep. And no tracks of anything, anything bigger than rabbits. Ready, Lily? Ready? <laughs> you are such a screwball. <laughs> yeah, you are. No barking. Come here, good girl. Gussie. <laughs> you ready? You ready, Seth? You ready, Lily? Go get it. <laughs> Okay, you crazy dogs. Ready? Ready? Go get it. <laughs> we well, gotta bring it back. 
Oh, it's stuck in the snow. I think that's the wrong one, Lily. That one's attached. <laughs> there you got one. Go oh, get it. Get it, Lily. Once you break trail like that, then you can go real easy. That snow, I mean, we still, even with the tracks on, we still sunk down 14, 16 inches, I bet. That's the way snowshoes are, once you get a trail packed down, they're great, but until you get one, they're a lot of work. deep enough up here that uh, there's no there's no deer elk tracks or anything all we're finding is rabbit tracks and uh, I don't think there's any wolves up here I think they've moved down to a lower elevation bonfire stew and some sunshine <laughs> still kind of cold up here it's not even not even freezing but it feels cold down the road here but they look like they're all deer and rabbit These machines with the tracks on them really are pretty amazing. They uh, they still sink down in the snow, but they keep moving. I mean, they have lots of traction. Where you don't, where this is packed down from his track, I mean, it's a good trail now. You step off of here, you sink down quite a little ways further. So, I don't know, it, it does kind of have a snowshoe type footprint but not quite as well as I thought I thought they'd stay on top of the snow bear and they do but there is no way you could get up here right now with anything with wheels chewed up with elk tracks but that's it we haven't seen any elk haven't seen any deer and we have not found a single wolf track it's 
Seems like there should be some in here, but I don't know. So far, it's been pretty empty. For whatever reason, probably get out of the wind. They put on this ridge here a lot. The elk have been. I actually shot one not too far from here a couple of years back. Cow elk I had a tag for. All right, look at this. Here's a fresh rub. Had to be an elk. Look at all the bark shavings down here. That's really fresh. Pretty high on the tree. He broke branches clear over here and another one clear over here across the road. This this spot here is really, really chewed up with tracks. But they're all elk. There's no no wolves here as far as I can see, but man, they're they really like this ridge for whatever reason. Here we go. <laughs> That's got to be a Sasquatch house, huh? You know, you find stuff like this, and it's easy to see why people think that. Look at all these branches that are broke off high. And then they're all just kind of piled into a... Um, Almost like a hut. Clear up here even. These treetops here. Big old tree over there. That's what did it. Tree fell over and somebody's cut it out of the road, but it knocked all those off and made a little made a little Sasquatch hut. <laughs> Imaginations are a funny thing, you know. You can you can come up with all sorts of ideas for something that's really pretty simple. <laughs> For all the tracks we've seen, we shouldn't be seeing a lot of them. There hasn't been. This proves there's probably not much up here. We've uh, covered a lot of ground, found no tracks at all, not very many de deer tracks. That one ridge had a lot of elk tracks. I think pulling my snares out was the right thing to do. There's nothing up here except for deer and elk to be caught. More gas. Got a long ways. Sassy. Sassy, where's those sky rats? <laughs> Go get him, Lily. Get them sky rats. <laughs> I think all of our dogs are nuts. <laughs> They're all related. They got it. They all got to be nuts. 
Now these are the closest we've found. Definitely dog tracks. They're older, but they're pretty big. That could very well be a wolf there. And there's my phone. Oh.